Hey guys, this is Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Outdoors. It's uh, right now uh, the very first couple of days of January. This is January the 2nd. Uh, and I've been asked if we're going to do a review like we did last year overall of uh, the gear that we saw for 2021. The answer is yes, but we're also going to talk about the transition that's taken place uh, down at Battle Box and the effects that it's going to have. So hang tight. We'll be right back with that. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. So let me just flip that on you. Let's talk about, first of all, what's happening at BattleBox. Um, I recently uh, interviewed John Roman, who is the new CEO. I've known John uh, since about 2017, something like that, uh, maybe 20, maybe 2016. I can't remember uh, when we got connected. Uh, but the way that we got connected is when we were doing um, uh, the follow-up, or excuse me, the ramp-up, to our gear review expeditions of the following year and um, some of you reached out and said hey are you going to do a article on subscription boxes and that's how it all got started. I got to meet John Roman, super guy, very smart, uh, very knowledgeable of the product and the company uh, that he now sits uh, in the, the leadership role of. So. Um, I'm not going to reveal everything that we talked about because I'm, you know, we're doing the article um, on Battle Box. We're going to bring you up to date on a lot of things there. But I, this is what I wanted to tell you because I get a lot of emails asking, we all do, asking, um, what direction is Battle Box headed into? Uh, disappointed in the gear that's been happening. Um, you know, things like that. And, and uh, you know, I, I have to reassure you that after speaking with him, uh, well, first of all, let me say, just be honest and be transparent. Um, we, too, have looked at some of the boxes and went, eh. You know, not everything was a, a superstar box. Uh, we tried to, you know, find the, the silver lining in everything that we look at, you know, but uh, sometimes you can't. And there were some times when Battle Box was, was a little bit questionable. And I talked to John about that. And uh, he admitted, yeah, you know, things had declined. You know, uh, from when they first started uh, and had some of the best gear out there in a subscription box to, you know, being mediocre and even disappointing. Um, you know, he even mentioned to me there were times that uh, current 1776 Brandon uh, was having a hard time uh, coming up with a way to be able to pitch some of the gear that was being put in the boxes because he was disappointed as well. Uh, but with this new transition, the new leadership, they've also brought in a brand new team of uh, buyers, uh, people that examine the gear, and they've decided that they're going to kick it up a notch and get back to that top shelf uh, offering that they were built upon. So, um, you know, I know a lot of you, I, you know, we're a part of the uh, Battle Box members only page on Facebook. And I do watch that. Uh, can't say I do it every day, but, you know, I go by it every now and then. And then somebody will message us through that and ask questions. And I've seen that some of you have talked about jumping out, you know, getting getting out or, you know, reducing uh, which level that you might be on. So just let me say this, you know, be a little bit patient. Um, yeah, the next couple of boxes are, are from the old buyer group. And... You know, I don't know what's in there. I have no idea until the box uh, either Curran drops the the video or my you know uh, team gives me the box that uh, has been delivered to us. And open it up, take a look. Uh, so I don't know what's what's coming in uh, February and March. I have no idea. Uh, um, and I have seen the video for uh, January, which we haven't received here yet. But I can tell you it's coming, so you don't really want to cut your nose off to spite your face. You know, I've said all along, being a subscriber to Battle Box is a commitment to the long haul because you're not going to get just one box and everything that you need for your kit or kits um, is going to be in this one box, you know. Uh, but if you stay in for the long haul, uh, eventually you're going to have a collection of, of gear for your arsenal that's second to none. You know, whether you are brand new, 
um, you're a novice that's just now getting into the outdoor life, or you're a seasoned survivalist, there's something for everybody. You know, for, for a guy like me, I see stuff, you know, gear that I've never seen before. Uh, and then there's also gear that I have that I've been looking to upgrade, but I didn't really have a, a, a way to do it, you know, uh, without, you know, getting out and buying the gear itself. Battle Box has, has allowed, you know, people like me and people like you to be able to either build kits or reinvent their kits or upgrade their kits uh, with good quality gear. So just hang tight. Battle Box is on the move, and uh, we're going to continue uh, our relationship with them uh, at least for another year, uh, hopefully more. Um, very impressed with the company, very impressed with the leadership. Uh, Curran 1776 does a marvelous job at what he does. John Roman has always been a gentleman, and he's a forward thinker. Uh, and I can, I can tell you that uh, they're in good hands, and if they're in good hands, you're in good hands also. So there you go for that. Just keep an eye out for the magazine. We'll be talking about the magazine here real short because we've got to give you some updates um, on that also. But I wanted to sh talk to you about some of the stuff that impressed us. Um, not every box had something impressionable. You know, that's just the truth. Um, but there were several boxes that did. So I wanted to show that to you. I'm going to go back to Mission 71 first. And the first thing that I want to tell you impressed us here uh, is the uh, Gerber Freescape saw. You know, I mean, uh, having a saw in your kit is very important. Having a saw that will fit in your kit is going to be even more important, you know. Uh, I've had people come out and uh, bring out these huge, huge saws that they can't find any way uh, to put them in their kit, you know. and this is a saw that as you saw you know you looked at it you had the opportunity to see come on get out there mr hook yeah there you go yeah okay so this will fit right in your kit i mean you gotta hold your tongue right to get this in here There you go. All right, this snaps down. You know, so I was a little bit. I'm not going to take that guard off, but I mean, you can see this saw is very um, small, compact, and I can tell you, it will buck through wood like butter. You know, they give this a, a value of 55 bucks, and you know, we thought that was a, a great price. You know, so that's that's one thing that impresses. We'll stick it right there, whether you can see it or not. And the other thing, another thing was was something in this particular box, was the um, Spot Tracker Gen 4 uh, satellite GPS messenger. Um, you know, I've advocated everyone that goes out in the out in the bush, especially if you're going to be really remote, that you have uh, a personal locator beacon, a PLB. Uh, you know, and they they range, you know, from really cheap, which you don't want. Uh, to uh, quite expensive, which you know you don't need. You find something in the middle, about the two, three hundred dollar range, and you hit a button. No matter where you're at uh, in in the world, you can you you can get these that they will be serviceable uh, worldwide, and your rescuers can see where you're at and be on the scene quicker, faster, and more efficient. This happens to be, this isn't a personal locator beacon, uh, but it's just a simple tracker that comes with a subscription service. Um, I thought this was a great ad, you know, because, you know, a lot of people that, that are getting into the outdoors these days, a lot of novices are walking out, you know, they end up falling, they end up, you know, getting lost, uh, and something like this would help you out. So that's why, you know, I advocated this. I thought these were really good. All right. So that takes us to the next month was Mission 72. Uh, this is back in February. Um, and what got our attention in this guy here, let me see, which one was that? Uh, let me see here. Oh, you know what? That was the um, Revolt Knives Raptor Survival Neck Knife. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't pick it up, you know, 
uh, and uh, but that was in the basic box, and that's what really got me there. You know, it's a great little neck knife, um, a great steel on the blade. The scales on it are, are really nice. We like that. Gives it a value of thirty bucks. You know, uh, we thought that was a good ad there. Next month was uh, seventy three in, in March. Uh, and there was, let me see, where is that guy at here that we liked? That was, oh, here we go, the binocular. All right, we got this over here. Hey, he's got a mystery spot under there. We got a mystery spot over here. All right, this comes from Vortex Optics, um, and it's a solo monocular. Um, I've had many monoculars um, throughout my uh, lifetime. Uh, and when we got this out in the field, uh, I took this on a deer hunt, well, a couple hunts, but the last deer hunt that I was on was in southern Illinois, and this guy here uh, was a champ. I love the small mini size to it. It's, it's fairly lightweight for being an optic. You know, most optics are kind of heavy, uh, but this one here, this is very, very, very rock solid, small, performs well, and that's why it made it to our best gear list of 2021 all right we'll stick that out there then our next one here is mission number 74 april uh and there is let me see here there's a couple things here that we really really liked um actually actually it's one one thing all right and it's this right here this is the new stat hemostatic gauze dressing. You've always heard me talk about being stoked for the fact that, you know, BattleBox is committed to also putting things like first aid. Um, some, of, some of it has been cheesy. It really has. Some of it's been cheesy, some of the little kits that they had. Uh, but when you're talking about stepping it up to this, th this level right here, this is a hemostatic gauze bandage. Um, people hear me. I feel like I'm harping a lot of times when I'm saying, you know, have yourself a bleed bag. Make sure that when you go out into the bush, if you've got any type of blade on you, whether it's just a pocket knife or, you know, your, your main EDC that you got hanging off your knife or a neck knife, any blade, saw, axe, you should have a bleed kit. And in that bleed kit, you need to have some hemostatic gauze. And what this does, you pack this down into the, the wound. Uh, and it will stop the bleeding. You know, you pack it down on the wound, of course, then you got to wrap it, protect it, and all that. Uh, and they give this a value of 25 bucks. And, you know, you may think that that is expensive, but the truth of the matter is, if your life is on the line, 25 bucks, that's nothing. And really, these work. They're very good. It's a, it's a, it's a very good company. Uh, so BattleBox, we really appreciate that too. Thing about these though, so just so you know, anything that is like this hemostatic wise, that is a blood coagulant on any level, most of them, if not all of them, have an expiration date. So make sure you check on that. They gave that a value of 25 bucks, like I said. All right, so the next thing that we liked was in mission brief number 75. All right, and that was a little bit of an illumination. They had they had a, a couple things in here. You know, uh, the knife of the month uh, was the Lord Phil Tallulah, which was which was decent, decent little knife, nice little Skinner. Um, but uh, they had uh, the hybrid Mammoth uh, Multi Light, which is this guy right here. Um, it's a it's a great little light. You know, very very bright. And it's got a couple different configurations for that, and there's other things that you can do with it but you know it's got a magnetic base and it's solar um, or you can plug it in and charge it in any any outlet um, and this has never been out in the bush I can tell you exactly where it goes it goes in in the top of the toolbox out in our shop and it just sits there until we need it you know we've got all kinds of illumination devices for the bush but this guy here, this is a perfect shop light, man. I mean, whether you're working on a vehicle or you're working on gear, whatever it is, this is a great option to have in your arsenal. They give this a value of $69. You know, a little pricey for an illumination device like this, but it is worth the money, okay? And the other thing, you know, you've heard me talk about during the winter time, 
about the importance of merino wool. They stuck these socks in here from Wildly Good. They're lightweight merino wool, and they're not 100% merino wool socks, which are my favorite. Uh, but they're 80% merino wool with a 16% polyester, 2% nylon, 2% spandex, 100% guaranteed. Now you can see the label still on them, so they've never been on my feet. Uh, but I'm going to change that here shortly. Um, I can tell you I wear merino wool socks 12 months out of the year, even when it's blazing hot summer, because there's nothing like good socks, good wool socks that will wick the moisture away from your feet, keep your feet dry, and if they if you step in water, they dry quick on your feet. So this is a great add to, and they give this a value of $17. So that's cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, mission number 76. Uh, I really like this one. And there's you wouldn't believe the, the, the complaints, really, the complaints that we got uh, for the couple things that we that we got out of this box, or for one of them. And this is it right here. This Lord and Field leather duffel bag. Now, <clears throat> would I take this out in the bush, and this is what I heard a lot, I would not take that out in the bush. Either will I, my friend. But I go places other than the woods also. You know, I do things other than hunting and fishing and staying night, uh, nightly out in the, under the stars. I travel a lot, and what I do Something like this is an easy carry-on. I could put a lot of stuff in this. Uh, I could throw it in the back of my truck, back of the car, wherever, and it serves me well. Now, the only thing that I haven't done to this yet is treat the leather. And when I do treat it, I'm going to treat it with bush butter uh, from Wood Tramp Outdoors. You've heard about the bush butter. It's a great product for anything leather. Just It'll be on the zippers. It'll be everywhere, you know. But this is a great ad. Man, this, this was cool. So... All you haters out there, send me your bag, and I'll, I'll take it off of your hands. The other thing that was in here uh, was from Fox Edge. Um, you know, Fox Edge has some good knives in their uh, arsenal, some of them not so much. This particular one here is the FE520, uh, and it's more of a tactical type of knife that uh, somebody that is going to be breaching windows um, you could use it for um, a close combat knife uh, if necessary, uh, but I can see first responders really digging this knife. Um, it has a value of $159.99, uh, something like that. Uh, and, you know, this, this dude is stout, man. I mean, it is a great knife, very easily accessible, very easy to put back away. Uh, it does have a glass breaker down here. Uh, on the end, you know, do the job. It's it's a great knife. So that's a good blade right there. All right. So our next one that we're going to look at is out of mission number 78. So we're jumping around here a little bit. Uh, and what we have here is something that is one of my favorites. Uh, anything that's a fire starter. Now, you know that the uh, SFK1 from Wood Tramp Outdoors comes from us, so that's our number one kit. But anytime I, I come across something that, you know, gets my attention, a fire starter, um, you know, it, it zoops me up a little bit. So this one here uh, came in a, in a basic box, you know, uh, and it's the Bigfoot Bushcraft Fire Starter. Uh, and I, I can tell you right now what, what got me about this. Uh, there are, I forget how many pieces are in here, 60. There are 60 of these, these plugs right here is what they call them. Uh, and it's some type of cotton. I don't know. I haven't done the research on them. Uh, but there are 60 of those in here. And the last time that we were out on, uh, I guess we were hunting. Uh, I took a handful of these just to test them out. Um, and they do work wonders, but what I like about these is that if you do it right and your tinder's nice and dry, you can cut this into fourths, and instead of having 60 plugs, you got 240 of them, right? So I really like that, you know, uh, you don't have to have our uh, fire starter, you know, our survival kit if you don't want to, uh, and I would say this is an alternative. These are things that I would carry. They give these a value of 20 bucks. For 240 fires, you know, if you can, you can get that out, but you have to have the right type of tinder to do it. It's got to be dry. 
uh, it's a great buy. All right, so let me get on to, was there something else in there that I wanted to show you? Mm, no, no. Had a Williamson, Williamson uh, blade in there as knife of the month, but the scales on it, uh, I don't care what you do to those scales, man, they will tear your hands up. And uh, I just didn't care for the knife and nobody did on our staff. All right, we're gonna jump to mission number 80, takes us out to September. And uh, there is, uh, you know, I could I could show you the Warpath blade because that one that one kind of impressed us a little bit for for being in an advanced box. But really, uh, what got our attention in this box was the Pro Plus uh, uh, blade from Deadfish. Uh, I guess it's called the Deadfish Company. It's not Deadfish Knife Company. It's just Deadfish Company. And this is the guy right here. All right, we've gotten requests for cleavers and then battle box delivered with this one from Dead Fish. Now, uh, I, I can tell you right now, um, you know, I think I told you all already that my wife, when she saw the Dead Fish knife set, she snatched onto it and it sits on the magnetic uh, knife holder in our kitchen and she uses them on a daily basis. And then uh, when she saw this cleaver, she said that will be up in my kitchen as well. And so, I had to go uh, to the house, grab this, and sneak it down uh, to where I could <laughs> do this filming. But it is a wonderful cleaver. It is very comfortable, easy to use. You can use it to, to slice. You can use it to dice things. It's great for chopping. It's got a good heft on it. Nice energy release whenever you come across the material. You know, we really like this, you know, and it came with a a very nice antique leather sheath but as I said this sits uh, up on a magnet it's a strip of magnets uh, that all of our knives sit on in, in our kitchen so that is a great one I'll just put that like that right there maybe we'll just put this over here like this here all right that's that one and then uh, we're getting close to the end here so just bear with me uh, mission 81 Oh yeah, yeah, this has got uh, two things in it that we really liked. Um, you know, there's several things in here that I liked, uh, but um, actually three. Okay, this is, in the, this is in the basic box. All right, this is called Dura Derm Sport. And uh, as I told you, when, I, when we reviewed this, we busted it open and we cracked it and all that. And I was wondering, hey, look, you know, uh, I wonder if you cap it back up if it will stay active and so I'm trying it in, in front of the camera right now all right uh, we haven't tested this out but you can hear me breaking stuff in there I don't know if that is stuff that's already hard and will not yeah it's not going to get uh, wet at all so it dries out obviously if, once you break it open it came in a six pack but I'll tell you what really impressed me about this uh, almost everybody knows it's smart to uh, put a uh, little container of super glue or Gorilla Goo glue inside of your kit. Um, and you know, you get a cut, you can close it up. You know, even bad cuts you can close up. But a lot of times what happens when you do that is that if there was any bacteria in there at all, anything that's funky, uh, you can end up getting infected and get a bad infection to where you gotta actually bust it back open or cut it open which is painful, and you got to squeeze out that infection and clean it out again. What this Duraderm Sport does is it not only allows you to close up a wound similar to super glue, but it has uh, products in it, components that fights all types of disease and bacteria, virus, whatever that might be getting inside their microbes. Uh, it's it's a, you know great. It's like an antiseptic that goes down inside there. You know, it's, I wish you could have gotten more than one application out of it, but you know, hey, uh, it costs twelve dollars and you get six of them in a pack. And you know, I've already uh, ordered uh, a couple of these packages from the company uh, because I am a firm believer. Because I've seen people get really sick when they're remote. You know, you're twenty or thirty miles away from civilization, uh, and you know you invested your time and your money in a hunt you're not wanting to go back you know uh and you know i've seen people get you know deathly ill where they had to be uh, taken out 
you know, because they ignored a small cut that turned into a major infection. So, Battle Box, that was a great ad right there. And next one here, man, this is cool. This is called the uh, Rapid Pure Pioneer Straw. Um, you know, this box was, was pretty decent, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, everybody knows how important it is to be able to filter water. You know, you got to have water. Um, and, you know, for years, everybody's been using the Life Straws. Um, we have Sawyer Mini. I like the Sawyer Mini better than I like the Life Straw for several reasons. Uh, but what they have in common is their susceptibility to a failure if they freeze at all because it, they have paper type micron filters in them and when you know they're full of water and they freeze it expands and it breaks those apart you're no longer uh, protected uh, by the filter this one right here from rapid pure is made with a ceramic filter in other words sucker is not going to freeze um, and it's it's easy to use and it is uh, even more effective than than the life straw you know I'm not so sure about the the uh, Sawyer it might be uh, but man for something that won't freeze and is this small uh, we thought that, that was well worth mentioning to you that if you don't have one or you you didn't subscribe uh, to the advanced box you know this might be something you want to look on BattleBox website for uh, and grab you one of these. This was a very good ad as well. All right, and then the other thing that was in here, you know how I feel about illumination, uh, is this from Lend Lenser. This is the ML6750 Lumen Lantern, and you can tell we've been using this. I got this uh, small little lanyard on here, uh, and I've used it 10 or 15 times. It is rechargeable, very heavy duty, um, 750 looms inside of a tent or a shelter that's a lot of a lot of light uh, and it'll burn let me see uh, I'm just gonna go off of me one two three uh, probably it probably burned for us for about almost 20 22 hours something like that before we had to change out you know and then you can just recharge them they're easily rechargeable uh, so when they give this a value of $79 oh and that filter is $29 uh, so this uh, particular uh, box was was a real hit with us, you know. It comes with this, of course. It does come with a charging cable. There's other things in here too. Um, I wasn't juiced about the uh, the knife, the Revolt Reflexor, not really. All right. So then we're going to get down here. Yep. And this is Mission Brief 82. So this is the one from December. Uh, and uh, there are a couple things in here that uh, is worth mentioning. Um, first one is in the basic box, and all I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to show you the first aid uh, survival booklet. And this comes from my medic. Uh, and you know, we have we have uh, used, we have purchased, we you know we've encouraged other people to get things from my medic because they. Uh, specialize in small mods, right? They put these things together, uh, and you can you can buy just a certain bandage. You can buy gauzes. You can buy this, this, and this. And in this box, you got a a gauze mod, a super skin, assorted bandages. And if you haven't seen those, you need to watch the video from Mission 82 because those things are very very good. Uh, and then the stay alive guide. This is what this is. Now again, I advocate any type of education, especially reading, you know, because you can go back and do it again. But in order to, to be successful, especially with first aid, you got to know it before you need it. Okay? That means you got to read it before you need it. Uh, you know, I, I've seen guys come up on a situation and shaking with their hands, trying to find the answer in a book. You know, that's not the time to be looking for it, uh, Captain. It really isn't. But uh, this little kit right here was 20 bucks, and it came with the gauze, it came with the band-aids, and it came with this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. All right, then the other thing that we really liked in there was this, and I'm not going to take it out of the box, but it was this weather radio from, from Eton. Now, 
Eton has several different varieties of, of weather radios. This one here happens to be a hand crank and also uh, solar rechargeable. It has different weather bands in it, AM, FM, a very, very uh, efficient speaker. Everything is great about this, you know. So those are, are, are uh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, because I got one more. And listen, all right, so I'm going to just apologize to you because I don't have the mission brief here in front of me where this Zulu uh, knife was included, right? This was the knife of the month. Uh, I can't tell you when it was. Uh, but when I found out there was an SE knife in there, you know, I knew it was going to be dope because we have um, a partnership with uh, um, a Zulu, excuse me, with SE and with Rowan. And so we're very familiar with how they build knives, why they build the knives the way they do, and the crew that they have, their research crew, uh, the development crew, everybody that's there, the guys that go out in the field, they are all pros. And when you see a knife out on the market by SE, it is top notch. This happens to be the Azulu neck knife, and we've got it with the um, micarta scales on here. I, I, just, I just really like this knife, so I wish I'd have got the mission brief brought out to me, but uh, I didn't do that, you know. So, but anyway, that is our favorite stuff from 2021, uh, you know. And I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Battle Box is uh, still putting out good stuff, and we're we're getting ready to get hit by a wave of really dope gear. So hang in there, uh, be confident that you're going to get more bang for your buck than you will with anybody else so i hope this has helped you out you know i'm glad 2021 is over i'm looking for forward to 2022 um and again i just want to make mention be checking out the video that i'm going to be dropping i'm going to do the video today as a matter of fact to tell you about the magazine where it's been um uh, where it's at and where it's going so till next time you guys ride free you live free and always you'd be safe out there